The Population of American Bison by Alan E. Rojas A lot of people tend to confuse the buffalo and the bison. Bison have large humps at their shoulders and bigger heads than the average buffalo. They also have beards as well as thick coats. Buffaloes have large, long, curved crescent horns, while typically bison horns are short, sharper than the average buffalo. How it all started. The American bison were mostly found or typically seen in the Great Plains. The American population for bison were 30 million but that quickly turned into 325 out of 30 million in 1884. Here on this map, it shows an orange outline of the original extent of bison herds before the 1870s. The yellow line represents the range of bison herds in 1870, which is close to critical, and the red outline represents the critical condition of the bison population in 1889. The English settlers wanted to take control of the Native Americans since bison provided a lot for them, such as food, hide, clothing, etc. The English would kill the bison for their tongues and hides, along with other little things, while their carcasses would lay in the prairie sun rotting. Their overhunting was a dominant factor in the near extinction of the bison. Thus, the Native Americans getting angry at the English for killing their bison. The Buffalo Killer Champion Among with many others who were responsible for the decline of the American bison, William F. Cody, also known as Buffalo Bill, was the Buffalo Killer Champion Buffalo Bill was an American buffalo hunter, a U.S. Army scout, a Pony Express rider, and a Native American fighter. He had killed a Native American who helped attack the cattle drive on which Cody was working on. He had hunted buffalo to feed construction crews on the Union Pacific Railroad. He slaughtered at least 4,280 buffalo in one year, thus him becoming known as the champion buffalo killer of the Great Plains. The buffalo soldiers were an all-black 9th and 10th cavalry regiment. They were African-American soldiers who mainly served on the western frontier following the American Civil War. In 1886, Six all-black cavalry and infantry regiments were created after Congress passed the Army Organization Act. Their main task were to control Native Americans of the plains. They would capture cattle, rustlers, thieves, and protect settlers, stagecoaches, wagon trains, and railroad crews along the western front. Trading and Railroad Native Americans would trade horses, dress tides, and buffalo robes with European traders to the east for guns, knives, and other manufacturing goods. The migration of people caused more and more trading, such as fur trading, meat trading, etc. Wherever the railroad went, the bison basically died because of the English and the European settlers. The Native Americans didn't like the fact that they were bringing and building railroads through their territory. The driving question. How did the population of the American bison help grow the U.S. from the sea to the shining sea? English talking settlers were threatened by the nomadic ways of the Native Americans who for a thousand years had lived migratory lives following the great herds of buffalo. To these people, the buffalo was the ultimate companion providing food, clothing, and shelter, and nearly every other material needed. The English talking settlers thought this was an opportunity to get rid of the Native Americans staying at the Great Plains, which 
Eventually, the Native Americans did move and spread around, causing the U.S. to grow. English talking settlers would confuse the buffalo and the bison, thus getting history a little complicated and confusing. But just to make things clear, the Native Americans and the English talking settlers were talking about the bison rather than the buffalo.